guys. So, you know what? There's a group of people that really piss me off. You know who it is? Fucking feminists. I wish you'd all just fuck off. <laughs> How's that for an opening? Seriously though, you're making us all look like a bunch of fucking dickheads. Um, I just, I just, like, shut up. <laughs> Please, you're ruining everything. Like, literally everything. Um, Mortal Kombat 10. Uh, they considered reducing the chest size of the fictional female characters in Mortal Kombat 10 uh, to try and uh, do some damage control, preemptive damage control for what the feminists were going to say um, when they released it and, you know, true to form, they've all got like massive tits and no clothes on. Uh, because most of the people that play the game are guys and the girls that play it don't care because it's a fictional fucking video game. Um, but, you know, so there's that. Um, and basically any issue that comes up, the feminists always find their way to just like put their little mark on it. Like they've got to add in their feminist two cents. Uh, just recently, there was a murder of a girl in, in one of the eastern suburbs of Melbourne called Doncaster, which is like a reasonably decent area. It's not like full of criminals. It's not like the stereotypical, like, uh, terrible place to live. Um, so, you know, you would you wouldn't be crazy to assume a, a reasonable level of safety living there. Um, this girl was murdered walking through uh, what they call a reserve, basically a park. Uh, she was walking through there. Apparently it's a pretty common area for people to go for walks. I don't know. I don't live there. Um, so she was murdered there by this guy and uh, the guy who did it was found in like a, a day or two um, and in the interim though the feminists still had to interject their two cents because the head of homicide uh, excuse the absence of the you know full title I don't know um, you know the head of homicide made a statement just in the interests of public safety in general because everyone was like all freaking out uh, because murder here is not common um, it's not like it seems like it's really common in the US it's not like that here um, it's still a shock when it happens here and everyone like freaks out about it uh, which I guess is a good thing. I don't know if it's a good thing to be comfortable with murder. Like if it's just like an everyday thing. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing. So yeah. Anyway, um, everyone's freaking out about it. So the head of homicide makes a statement just in general. Um, maybe it's best that girls don't walk alone at night and maybe it's best that you like you know leave one of your headphones out so you can hear your surroundings and uh you know take someone with you if possible like you know don't be alone stay in well-lit areas you know all this like general common sense like nothing too outrageous um but the feminists had to interject themselves well how come girls can't walk alone at night like how come that <laughs> why is it just the girls that can't walk at night fuck off because girls just got fucking killed that night that's why like are you serious um if there is a random fucking increase in guys being fucking murdered at night while they're alone then i'm sure they would make a similar statement but since this murder of a female at night had just happened like that day or the day before it makes sense that they specifically mention females in this, you know, fucking PSA statement that he made. 
Um, it's just things like that. Um, and trivial shit that, of course, on the spot, I can't even fucking think of because I'm fucking terrible on the spot. Um, whenever, even like the most trivial of things, they'll like find a way to like work in some feminist aspect to it, even when it's got nothing to do with it. Um, they'll find like some fucking misogynistic agenda uh, that came up just recently because some fucking weirdo posted a photo on Instagram of her lying in bed with period blood on her pants and on her sheets and it got removed from Instagram. Um, so now all the feminists are like, oh, Instagram is misogynistic. No, it's just because someone reported your shit because it's gross. Like, who wants to see that? Why would you fucking post that? Like, oh, I'm a woman. I bleed. It's something to be fucking proud of. Everyone look at me fucking bleeding. Like, the fuck is wrong with you? Seriously. Um, just calm the fuck down. See, I just don't, I don't understand. It's, and you know, like... Initially, when I said that I was going to be doing a video on feminism, I did mention that um, Dolores Flores had done a video on feminism, and if you haven't watched it yet, you need to see it because, um, you know, she's much more concise and toned down and, you know, all together and shit than me. So, um, basically, everything that she says, I second that. So, watch that, and then you'll kind of maybe understand where I'm coming from if you don't managed to deal with this ramble um but like one of the things that she mentioned is that like females are fighting for the right to like oh you know we need to be fucking doing all the man jobs like you know girls should be able to fucking be a fucking tree cutting down person and shit you know like typically like male jobs <laughs> I know as soon as I stop talking, I'm going to remember what the actual name for a tree cutting down person is. Um, I'm not completely retarded, I promise. Um, but, you know, like typically male jobs, it's like, oh, fucking, we should be allowed to do that too. It's like, well, you can do that, but why do you want to? And, you know, she mentioned, it's like, you know, you're fighting for what exactly? Like, you're fighting for the right to be able to work... Uh, ridiculous long hours and have your kids in childcare and like why it's like oh no fucking I don't need a fucking husband I don't like you know fucking pff, who wants someone to fucking take care of them and like help pay the bills and shit like I want to fucking die alone with a house full of cats like fuck off let me do that like really is that what you want? Is that, does that sound like a fucking good deal to you? Um, like, basically, like, that's what you fight. It's like you're fighting to be fucking forever alone. Hashtag forever alone with a house of cats. Um, I don't understand. And I think it's one of those things where feminism has, like, deter, divert there. <laughs> detoured and diverted away from what it initially started out as being like you know back before fucking I was even alive was it like the 50s take a stab in the dark there you know sometime fucking you know not now um when the whole feminist thing started it's not even about the same shit anymore. Like, people just, like, take, oh, I'm a feminist, and fucking look at my period blood on Instagram. I'm a feminist. No, you're a fucking rancid mole. That's what you are. You're not a fucking feminist. Um, what does showing your fucking period blood on Instagram do to fucking progress fucking women in the workplace or fucking any of the other shit that you fucking claim to be all for? Um... Like, I don't know whether you've just been under your, like, feminist rock and, like, haven't realised that females are taking up, like, plenty of high power positions and, you know, we've got, like, female judges and solicitors and fucking, they're in the police force and fucking, you know, the females, they're everywhere. Um, so, 
I don't really know what other jobs like the richest woman in Australia is like fucking head of the fucking mines in Perth or some shit god she's an ugly beast have you seen her you need to see her um <laughs> but anyway she is a fucking woman and she's making like more money than fucking a whole shitload of guys in this country digging in the mines fucking girl power <laughs> Um, you know, fucking, if you want to go dig in the fucking mines, then go dig in the fucking mines. Like, just, you don't have to fucking be a dickhead about it. Just go and do it. Like, no one's stopping you. Where is the law saying, no, you can't go and dig in the mines? Um, it's not how it used to be. And it's just, it just... It's just fucking stupid. You're all fucking stupid. Just shut up. Please stop fucking wrecking shit because that's all you're doing. It's like as soon as the next fucking trending topic comes along, you'll all fuck off and go break balls about that instead. Fucking save the whales. Fucking whatever the fuck it might be. And you'll be gone. And that will be the best day ever. Seriously. Piss off. Please. Um, you are doing nothing to further the advancement of women. You're just making us all look like fucking idiots. So please, go and be a dickhead about something else. Don't fucking drag us all down with you. And, uh, yeah, that is all. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for watching, guys. I just got so amped up on that. They just, they just... I've, I've said it a million times already. They really pissed me off. And, um, yeah, that's all. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you soon.